tusifiwe. <laughs> For this is the day in which the Lord has made. Yes. Let us rejoice. Hallelujah. And be glad in it. Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu, hii ni siku mbwa na Yesu ametupatia tena. Hallelujah. Kwa neema yake. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for us. Ninapofikiria wema wa Bwana na all that he's done for me. Yote alinifanyia. My soul and your soul should cry hallelujah. Roho yangu na roho yako inabidi imuimbie hallelujah. Hai save me. Jisalivotuwe. He raised me. Jisalivonilea. He filled me with the Holy Ghost. Jisalivonijaza na Roho Mtakatifu. Hai save me to the uttermost. Jinsi alivonijaza mpaka ku my soul should cry my soul your soul should cry hallelujah roho yangu na roho yako for his mercy endure forever thank you Jesus. thank you lord asante bwana so when i say this is the day in which the lord is made anaposema siku hii ni siku bwana and let us rejoice and be glad in it let us be happy hebu tufurahi hallelujah in jesus kwa yesu katika yesu tunafuraha katika yesu the man of god say ever with food and and raiment and clothing mtumishi wa Mungu mmoja alisema kwa chakula na mataji yote ever be content siku zote wewe ridhika to be content is to be glad kuwa kuimika maana yake ni kuwa na furaha thank you jesus asante yesu hallelujah hallelujah but thank him for the holy ghost tumshukuru kwa roho mtakatifu thank him for the holy spirit tumshukuru kwa roho thank you for the new man hallelujah asante kwa mtu mpya that want to love hallelujah amba anapenda that want to give anatoa upendo anatoa hallelujah that want to serve amba yuko tayari kutumika hallelujah thank you jesus asante yesu hallelujah we want to start with a prayer. Tutaanza kwa maombi. Let us pray. We're going to pray in Swahili and then in English. Tutaanza kwa Kiswahili na tutaomba kwa Kiingereza. Baba mtakatifu Mungu ni mwaminifu. Asante tena ni rehema na ni neema yako. Uweza kutumikia siku ya leo. Baba tunafunika. Haleluya mahali hapa kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth. Tukinyenyekea Mungu wa Israeli, ukatusamehe Bwana. Maana sisi ni wanadamu. Mawazo maneno na matendo tusamehe na kututakasa kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth Bwana. Ili tukastahili kusimama mbele zako na kusema chochote kile ambacho tutapitishia kupitia neno yako. Baba Mungu funika kila anayesikiliza. Mioyo yako ikasikilize. Roho zao zikapokea maisha yao kabadilike Mungu. Familia zao zikaguswe mtakatifu. Afya zao zikanenea. Father in the precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, we ask a blessing upon the lesson today. Thank you. Jesus. We pray uh, for the those that are listening, we pray a blessing upon them. Yes, God. Oh God, at the hand of your word that someone will be filled with the Holy Ghost. Jesus. Thank oh you. God, we pray right now that you hallelujah, Lord, you are welcome in this place. Yeah. Yes, Lord, Lord, have God. your way in the lesson. Yes, Jesus. Oh Lord, speak to us, God. Yes, God. Oh Lord, your word is true. Yes, it is. And your word is life. Yes, Jesus. We thank you for thank all you. that you've done and all that you're going to do. Yes, Jesus. For these blessings we ask in Jesus name and for Jesus sake we say amen and amen, amen. hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah Jesus. Jesus God is such a good God <laughs> and a merciful God <clears throat> we're going to go into our lesson mm -hmm. and I have a question for you and the lesson today is is it well with your soul it's something you have to know Sinner or saint? Atakama una una muamini mungu ha o muamini mungu. Is it well with me? Je. Am I okay? Am I in a good place with God? Je, niko mahali pema na mungu. You need to know. Ina bili ujue. Kwa wakika. It shouldn't be a question mark. Haitaki wikuwa na swali ambalo halina wakika. In your relationship with God. Katika usia na wako na mungu. Now if you're not serving God. If you're not serving the Lord. Kama hamu tumiki mungu. Then it's obvious. No, you're not any man out having the spirit of Christ is none of his. Romans eight and nine. Warumi nane tisa. But if some people they will lie to themselves. Kuna watu ingine wana jidanganya. And live a lie. Na kuishi katika maisha wao. Saying that they're saved and they're not. Wakisema kama mewokoka, lakini rohoni ndani yao anajua kabisa hawa jokoka. To even pay their way on. The usher board. Na ata wana tua sadaka wana fanya mambo ya kuwa wisi chungaji 
anapata cheo kanisani anapata kibali na mtumishi wa Mungu kutokana kutokana na zile sadaka wanazotoa au muda wanaotumia kwenye huduma hiyo haita kuingiza mbinguni no it's not well with your soul na pana sio sio salama rohoni mwako hatuwezi kujidanganya no, kufika uh-huh. mbinguni haleluya we got to be real with god inabidi tu wa kweli na mungu he said you must come in at the door amesema ni lazima uingie katika mlango if you come any other way you come as a thief and a robber ukija katika njia nyingine yoyote ile wewe unaingia kama mwivi na mnyang'anyi amen amen so the question is is it well with your soul swali ni kwamba je ni salama rohoni mwako the scripture say examine yourself maandishi anasema hebu jichunguze mwenyewe and see if you're in the faith na uone kama kweli uko katika imani it comes a time that we have Every day we must do a self examination. Inatakiwa kila siku tujifanyie uchunguzi sisi wenyewe. Not just one day, every day we. Sio tu siku moja bali kila siku. We have to pick up our cross and follow Jesus. Tunapokea msalaba tunainua msalaba tunamfuata Yesu. And in doing so you can say it is well with my soul. Na kufanya hivyo unasema ni salama rohoni mwangu. If not you can correct it through not only receiving of the Holy Ghost but hallelujah your repentance. Na kama sio basi unaweza ukapokea ukarekebisha kwa kuomba ukaokoke na ujazo na Roho Mtakatifu. Let me break it down. If you're not saved, you need the Holy Ghost. You need Acts 2:38. Yaani anasema kama hujaokoka unahitaji Roho Mtakatifu. Unahitaji matendo ya mitume 2:38. To repent and be baptized in every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins that you receive the Holy Ghost. Kutubu na kubatizwa kwa jina la Yesu ili kwa ajili ya ondoleo ya dhambi ili uweze kupokea Roho Mtakatifu. If you save and you sin, you need to repent and make it right for God. That way the slate is clean you will find spot or blemish. Kama wewe umeokoka na bado unatenda dhambi unatakiwa urudi ujitakase tena uokoke na uanze upya na Bwana We find an answer for everything in the word of God Tunakutana na majibu katika kila kitu kwenye neno la Mungu The man of God Paul said that you be not ignorant concerning these things Mtumishi wa Mungu Paulo alisema tusiwe kama ambao hatuna hekima katika mambo yake mambo ya Mungu with our knowledge concerning these things Kwamba tusiwe wasiwe na ufahamu katika mambo ya Mungu Hallelujah thank you Jesus but the question today is Is it well with your soul? Swali leo ni je, ni salama rohoni mwako? Let us turn our Bibles to 1 Thessalonians. Tufanye tu, tugeu, tugeuze maandiko tufungue mkataba. <laughs> tufungue Biblia nisamee. Uh-huh. Katika wa Thess- Thessalonians I said open I said open the cross. No That's problem. I apologize. That's okay. No problem. I didn't my Swahili is in the best anyway. <laughs> Amen. First Thessalonians 5:21 to 23. Yaani wa Thessalonica 1:5 mpaka 23. Yes, read please. Itasoma katika jina la Bwana. <coughs> Ishina moja inasema jaribuni mambo yote lishikeni lililo jema. That's 21. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Read through 22 and 23 please. Amen. Jitengeni <coughs> na ubaya wa kila namna. Mungu wa amani mwenyewe awatakase kabisa nanyi nafsi zenu na roho zenu na miili yenu mhifadhiwe muwe kamili bila lawama wakati wa kuja kwake bwana wetu Yesu Kristo First Thessalonians 5:21 to 23 but I'm gonna read this Prove all things mm-hmm. hold fast to that which is good mm-hmm. abstain from all appearance of evil mm-hmm. and the very god of peace sanctify you wholly mm-hmm. and i pray god your whole spirit soul and body be preserved blameless mm-hmm. until the coming of the lord jesus christ amen amen so here is a key to saying it is well with my soul who hapa ni ufunguo wa kuishia wewe kusema ni salama rohoni mwangu next to having the holy ghost ikikaribiana na kujazwa na Roho Mtakatifu Do no things which are good Kufanya yale yaliyo mema Keeping yourself from evil Kujite, Kujiweka mbali na mabaya Ha huh? and knowing the man of God say that God will sanctify you make you clean he will sanctify you holy cuz we serve a holy God na Mungu atawatakasa kwa maana tunamtumikia Mungu aliye mtakatifu. And separate your things from the world and those things that are evil and doing good, you draw nigh to God. Tunapojitenganisha na yale yaliyo mabaya, tunajitenganisha na yale yaliyo tunakaribisha na Mungu na tunajikaribisha na yaliyo mema. This is our request. 
Hili ni ombi letu. And here's the man of God's request. Na hapa mtumishi wa Mungu naye anaomba. He said, I pray that God that God I pray to God that your whole spirit soul and body be kept preserved blameless until the coming of Jesus our Lord Jesus Christ. Yaani mtumishi wa Mungu anasema anaomba kwamba nafsi zetu na roho zetu na mili yetu ihifadhiwe tuwe kamili bila lawama. Where we are instructed to be without spot or blemish when Jesus comes. Tumeelekezwa bila lawama wala mawaa yoyote yale. So won't he make you clean but just what you got to stay clean you got to be clean when Jesus comes. Yaani tumeambiwa tujitahidi tuwe wasafi hadi Yesu atakapokuja. Hallelujah. When they went to make sacrifice of the lamb or whatever it had to be without spot or blemish. Walipoenda kutoka fara alitakuwa ile kondoo au mnyama aliyetumika awe msafi bila mawaa. But you presenting your body as a living sacrifice. Tunatakiwa tujikabidhi tuji holy and acceptable unto God. Tujitoe mili yetu ikiwa dhabihu iliyo safi takatifu mbele za Mungu. Which is your reasonable service. Ambayo ndiyo huduma yetu iliyo safi. Knowing that God is holy. Tukijua kwamba Mungu ni mtakatifu na sisi tunapaswa kuwa takatifu. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Is it well with your soul? Je, yeah, ni salama rohoni mwako? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But in this in this scripture here, he says that he prayed to God that your whole spirit, soul and body be kept be preserved until the coming of Christ. Yaani anasema anaomba miili yetu roho zetu zihifadhiwe mpaka kuja kwa Yesu Kristo. So you, you, you say well what is the spirit? The spirit in Hebrew and in Greek it, it's a wind, it's the breath. Yaani ukiangalia maana ya kwenye Kiyahudi. Hallelujah. Yaani roho ni kama upepo, mpumzi. God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils. And he breathed into him the breath of life. Mungu alipomuumba mwanadamu, alimpumulia ndani yake pumzi ya uhai. And man became a living soul. Mwanadamu akawa nafsi iliyo hai. Being born again of the water and of the spirit, we have Christ in us and our members uh, and we are members of his body with his holy spirit tunapozaliwa kwa maji na roho tunakuwa na naye Kristo ndani yetu na viungo vyetu viungo vya viungo vyake katika roho wake mtakatifu so when god made adam he formed the dust hallelujah but he breathed into hallelujah his nostrils and he breathed the breath of life the scripture said and he became a living soul Tunaelewa kwamba Mungu alipomuumba mwanadamu kupitia udongo so alipomuumba Kwa hiyo roho ni pumzi ya Mungu. Being born again of the water, being baptized in Jesus name to take away the remission of our sins. Tuna, Hallelujah. Tunapozaliwa kwa maji kwa ubatizo na kumpokea Roho Mtakatifu in conjunction of his not just spirit but holy spirit lakini tunaunganishwa hapo unakuta tunaunganishwa na sio tu roho wake tu bali roho wake mtakatifu which we have in us christ christ in us ambaye tunaye ndani yetu sisi ambao tumejitoa kukombolewa na kristu if any man be in christ is a new creature tunaambiwa yoyote yule aliye ndani ya kristu yeye ni kiumbe mpya all things have passed away behold all things become new yale yote ya zamani yamepita mambo yote yamekuwa mapya you become a new man in christ jesus unakuwa kiumbe mpya katika kristu hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus asante yesu so what is the soul is it find in greek sasa so kwa Kiswahili wanasema ni roho lakini like also so says and in Hebrew it also says breath na hiyo ni, ni pumzi but is a difference hudi. in the definition lakini kwenye maana yake kuna tofauti because the soul is said to be the mind yani fahamu the, akili the will yani nia ya mtu and the emotions where we think and feel na hisia pale ambapo tunafikiria na tuna, tunasikia si hisia so your mind your emotions the things that you experience from day to day your life and how you live it and the way you feel and think this is the soul kwa hiyo soul ambayo mimi nasema ni ufahamu ninavyoelewa ni ufahamu ni akili pale ambapo unapata hisia katika maisha yako kila siku the spirit of god when he breathed into his nostrils adam's nostrils he he became a living soul he began to move that body had life hallelujah yani mungu aliyompumulia pumzi ya uhai adam 
akaanza viungo vyake kusogea na kutembea na nini alikuwa kiumbe kilichokuwa hai akaweza he had emotion hallelujah can these, he said to the prophet can these bones live there was a valley full of bones wakati wa yuko muuliza mtumishi wa Mungu kwenye lile bonde lililojaa mifupa je mifupa hii inaweza kuwa hai and he told the prophet prophesy to these bones akamwambia atabiri kwa hiyo mifupa and the story said in the bible that the bones stood up na kwenye biblia tunasoma inasema kwa ile mifupa ikapata nyama ikaweza kusimama ikaanza kutengenezeka wakawa hai wakawa ni jeshi with man it's impossible with god all things are possible kwa mwanadamu kwa mungu yote yanawezekana kwa mwanadamu inawezekana yasiwezekana hallelujah is it well with your soul yeah if salama roho so we can find hallelujah the spirit and the soul we talking about the body now tunazungumzia sasa mwili hallelujah and the body is a unit of many parts na mwili ni miunganiko wa sehemu mbalimbali i mean here is a head uh, exterior the head the Hidua, neck the shibu, arms the shoulder mikono, the chest the, they call the upper torso uh-huh. mwili wetu the, wa, wa the waist hallelujah your legs your feet your toes That's the outer, the inner, the blood vessels, the heart. Kaka mungu mungu vya ndani, mishipa ya damu na vinginevyo. The kidneys and so on, the intestines. But that's, that's the body, many parts. Ina sehemu mbalimbali. And one body. Katika mwili mmoja. Hallelujah. But just what? The body of Christ is the same way. Na mwili wa Kristo ni hivyo hivyo. There are many there are many, many administration, many parts to God's body. Yaani kuna kazi mbalimbali kwa sehemu mbalimbali za mwili wa Kristo. But we all baptized into one spirit. Wote tumebaptizwa kwa roho moja. Kwa maana Mungu ni mmoja na ni Yesu. Haleluya. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. I know I'm speaking the truth. Anajua anasema kwa. But the body is made of, of many parts. Although all the parts are many, they form one body. Ingawaje mwili wa Kristo umetengenezwa na viungo mbalimbali lakini vyote ni mwili mmoja. So is the body of Christ for by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. Kwa maana kwa roho moja wote tumebatizwa kwa mwili mmoja. 1 Corinthians 12:13 Wa Korinto wa kwanza sura 12 And and, and, and um, just for reference Yes. Uh, first so Corinthians. Kwa muda wako, alafu Korinto wa kwanza 6:15 through 20. Sura ya sita mstari wa 15 mpaka 20. Your body is being the temple of the Holy Ghost. Tunaambiwa jinsi ambavyo mili yetu ni hekalu ya Roho Mtakatifu. With God while it is not your own. Na tunaambiwa mili yetu sio ya kwetu sisi wenyewe binafsi. If you go to these scriptures it was Tell you don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? Ukienda kwenye mistari na kuuliza. And that your body is not of your own but is of God. Hilo swali, je, atujui kwamba bibi yetu? The spirit of God dwell. Ni hekalu ya Roho Mtakatifu na Mungu anaishi ndani yake. Must you receive the Holy Ghost? Ukishampokea Roho Mtakatifu. We can't live any kind of way. Kuishi tena ovyo ovyo kama zamani. For you to be able to say it is well my soul God got to be here. Ili uweze kusema ni salama rohoni mwangu Mungu lazima ajaye ndani yako. Hallelujah. You got to be he has to have control of this vessel. Inabidi awe na utawala na mwili huu. This body. Mwili huu wa kwako. Hallelujah. To be a part of his body. Kuwa sehemu ya mwili wake wa Kristo. He said if you abide in me and my word abide in you. Anasema mkiishi ndani yangu, haleluya. That I will be Nani. in you. I will come and make myself with you. Na neno langu likajaa ndani yenu. Nitakuja nitakaa ndani yenu. Haleluya. So we describe we gave definition of the spirit soul and body for you to understand hallelujah tumetoa that, maana yes yeah that so. with for you to understand the, what he meant by that aha tumeelezea maana ya mwili maana ya fahamu yani akili na mwili na roho na nafsi soul ni nafsi thank you jesus i got the true meaning of soul mm-hmm. you just let me for my for me i was Go saying ahead. mine Mwili nafsi na roho na, na mwili nafsi na roho tumeelezea maana yake ili muweze kuelewa mwili wa Kristo So that you, the man of God said that your whole spirit body and soul preserve be preserved till the coming of Christ he, you know, that your that the holy spirit that you have mm-hmm. and that the soul that you have the emotions the love that you have for Jesus and the work and the things that you're doing and the things that you've done in life that your labor be not in vain 
and that this body continue to be in the service of the Lord until the time of Jesus. Hallelujah. Two men be one to me. Hallelujah. 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 The Sudamite woman. Una sikia kisa hiki tumekisikia mara nyingi mwanamke wa Shunami. And Elisha. Na Elisha. Uh-huh. And uh when you have it, could you read uh verses 25 to 27? Amen. 25 inasema basi akaenda akafika kwa yule mtu wa Mungu katika mlima wa Kameli. Ikawa yule mtu wa Mungu alipomuona kwa mbali akamwambia Gehazi mtumishi wake, tazama Mshunami yule kule. Ishina sita nasema tafadhali piga mbio sasa kwenda kumlaki ukamwambie hujambo mume wako hajambo mtoto hajambo akajibu hawajambo. So 2 Kings uh, 4 tw- verses 25 to 27. So when she went I've not read 27. Oh praise God. Go ahead. 27. Mm-hmm. Na alipofika kwa yule mtu wa Mungu Kilimani alimshika miguu Gehazi akakaribia muondoe lakini mtu wa Mungu akamwambia muache maana roho yake ndani yake ina uchungu na Bwana amenificha wala hakuniambia So there was a situation where uh, beforehand the Shudamite woman had fed the man of God bread and she saw him coming by every day so she made a place in her home mm-hmm. with a room, a bed mm-hmm. and a little light and to bless the man of God and in the process the man of God wanted to bless her and her husband uh, with a child and she said my husband's old hey this ain't going to happen why are you playing <laughs> why are you lying to me and he said in due season you're going to have a child she had a child mm-hmm. the child got older and he was working in the field and he said my head hurt and they took him to his mother and he died in her arms you know and he she laid the child on the man of God's bed to went and went to look for him hichi kisa kinaelezea huyu mama wa tsunami hakuhitaji mtoto lakini mtumishi wa Mungu alimwahidi utapata mtoto kwa hiyo yule mtoto ikafikia wakati kuna siku akaugua kichwa kaugua sana Na hatimaye akafariki. And when she found him, she she made she made she got a mule and she immediately went to him. She didn't turn to the left or right because her son was dead and she had to see the man of God. Na alipokuta mwanae kufa, hakupoteza muda, mara moja akapanda nadhani nipunda yule alipanda, akaenda kumuona mtumishi wa Mungu. So it says, so she went and came unto the man of God to Mount Carmel and it came to pass when the man of God saw her mm. afar off, mm. he sent his servant, mm-hmm. which is uh, Gaza, sent his servant, and behold, yonder is the, he said, behold, yonder the shooter my woman, run now, I pray thee, and meet her, and say unto her, is it well with thee? Mm-hmm. Is it well with thy husband? Mm-hmm. And is it well with thy child? Right. And she answered, it is well. Okay. Unaona alipoulizwa kama yote ni salama na watu wa nyumbani kwake alisema ni salama hawajambo. And when she came unto the man of God to the hill, mm-hmm. she caught hold of his feet. She mm-hmm. grabbed him by the feet. Mm-hmm. But the servant came near to thrust her away to push her away like don't grab the man of God leave mm. him a bit leave him let him go mm. and the man of God said leave her alone mm. for her soul is vexed within her mm. Mm. and the Lord had hid it from me mm. and had not told me mm-hmm. here it is she said in the beginning when the man of God saw her far off right he had these questions to ask of her through his servant. Mm-hmm. Say that. Yani alipomuona mtumishi wa Mungu alikuwa na maswali anataka amuulize ule mama kupitia mtumishi wake. Is it well with you? Is it well with your husband? Is it well with your child? He asked three questions. Alizo maswali matatu. 
Je, uko salama? Mme wako yuko salama? Mtoto wako yuko salama? And she answered, it is well. Akasema ni salama. But when she got close and she touched the man of God. Alivokaribia na kamgusa mtumishi wa Mungu. The man of God discerned that she was vexed in her spirit. Yaani mtumishi wa Mungu alipata ufahamu wa rohoni, tunasema leo ni utambuzi, discernment. But at the same time, he realized that God had hit this thing from him. Lakini akawa roho Mungu hajamfunulia kwa kwa uwazi. See, it is it's things that we hide inside of us. Kuna mambo mengine ila tunayaficha ndani yetu. Somebody come to you and you say, "Well, uh, are you alright? You okay? Oh, I'm okay. I'm fine. But you got a headache. Mm. You worrying about a bill? Unakuta mtu anakuuliza uko salama? Unasema niko salama. Child is sick. Mtoto wako mgonjwa. You may be sick in your own body. Inawezekana wewe mwenyewe ni mgonjwa. But your answer is I'm okay. It is Mwana well. Ni kwamba ni salama. When it's not well. Wakati sio salama. When you're vexed in your spirit. Yaani huna amani moyoni. And you don't have to be a man of God for the pick up that somebody sick. Sio lazima hata awe ni mtumishi wa Mungu kujua kwamba kuna mtu huyu hayuko sawa. There was a song, a worldly song, but it had a lot of truth to it. Ain't it funny how you feel shows on your face. Kuna mwimbo mwingine wanasema inashangaza jinsi ambavyo unachojisikia ndani yako kinaonekana. And a lot of times you can see the sickness, you can see the pain. You can see the heartbreak in somebody's face. Mara nyingine wanaweza kaona huyu moyo wake umepondeka, mara nyingine huyu hana amani. If not in their face by the way they walk, their mannerism. Au jinsi anavyotembea, jinsi anavyoenea. Whether they have a backache, a leg ache, whether they of of whatever affliction they may have. Sometimes they can't help him showing. Mara nyingine huwezi kuona, huwezi kushindwa kuona kwamba hata anapo. They say it is well. I'm okay. I'm all right. tu niko sawa. Niko salama. And part of that is I don't want people in my business. Na yote hayo ni kwamba sitaki watu wa I don't want nobody to know. Sitaki mtu yote afahamu. I don't need pity. Sitaji kuhurumiwa. But we all need Jesus. Lakini wote tunamhitaji. Hallelujah. Jesus is the answer to every situation. Yesu ni jibu katika kila Hallelujah. kila hali, kila 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 tatizo. Thank you Jesus. You want peace? Yesu. Kutaka amani. You want joy? Kutaka furaha. You want love? Kutaka upendo. You want deliverance? Unataka kufungua. You want the Holy Ghost? Unataka Roho Mtakatifu? The Spirit of God? Roho wa Mungu? Jesus is the answer. Yesu ndiye jibu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes God. Thank you Lord. Hallelujah. And then uh something I want to say about verse 27. Mm-hmm. That reminded me of this past week. Sometimes this is why we need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. This week there was a day and I I suddenly lost peace in my soul. Mm. And usually when I'm like that, I need to pray for someone. I need to pray for something. But Holy Ghost will not reveal to me fully. Yeah. Sometimes he has a reason. The Holy Ghost did not reveal to the man of God about that we never asked the Holy Ghost, why didn't you reveal this? So I just started praying. I made a couple calls mm-hmm. to a couple people that I knew. They were, they were, they could be in a position that they needed prayer. I wanted to be specific. Mm-hmm. These people were okay. You know yes. what I did? I started just speaking in tongues. Uh-huh. I spoke in tongues as I was going about my business until when I had peace. So mm-hmm. Holy Ghost knows what was going on. Saints, I just want to say this to you also. Mm. As a servant of the Lord. Yes. God send you work. Amen. He send you peace. They need peace. Watu wanakutana watu wanaohitaji furaha maana answer to their problem. Wanahitaji majibu ya matatizo yao. And just what? Just like he did in the old testament. Kama alivyosema zamani alifanya zamani. Hallelujah. That our Job had to pray for his friends that accused falsely accused him. Kama vile ayu wao waambiwa awaombea rafiki zake to get a prayer to the Lord. Wapitishe maombi kwa kupitia ayubu kupitia kwa Bwana. There are things that God had from us. Kuna mambo Mungu anatufikia. That we discern when people come near us or touch us that then we that we discern that they are in need. Tunajua wana mahitaji lakini Mungu atuambii kiwango. And the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit say minister to them. Roho Mtakatifu anakuambia tu wahudumie. Hallelujah. Sio lazima una majibu yote. Wewe anza kuwahudumia. Fungua kinywa Mungu atakaye. And like the the man, the eunuch in the in the wilderness that was reading Isaiah, mm-hmm. the Spirit draw you to him. Kama yule, um, uh, um, drew, the Holy Ghost drew him, him to him to minister to him. Understand what you read? How would I know unless some man show me? God will give us the work. Mungu atakupa kazi. We don't know what to pray for, but you know what? There's plenty of prayer needed. How about For all the situations that 
ata go on. Kwa mambo yote yanayoendelea leo tuzunguka. Yaani usiashangae, bora utumie muda wako mwingi kwa kuomba. And this is what I'm saying in Swahili. It's better not to spend a, it's good to know we must know what's going on around us. Mm-hmm. It's better to focus more of our time praying and in the word to help people of God to help us going through the situation and our towns and our countries going through situations than to just keep following because there's groups out there with all kind of news the, the the television listen know what's going on and just pray. and what you say what you say in the scripture more. the bible God is a spirit, and mm. they that worship Him mm. must worship Him in spirit and truth. Mm. And the Word of God said, "Pray in the spirit." Dance in the spirit. Speak in the spirit. We have to do everything in the spirit. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We have to be spiritual enough, and we have to be we have to be prayed up, fast up. We have to be ready to minister to God's people because that is the great commission to go out in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Yani tuwe tayari kutoa huduma kwa watu wa mungu muda wote ule. Manaki tumeambiwa diyo tulicho itiwa. Tumeumbwa kwenye kisipu cha jeremaya. Tukawe makuhani tukaudumia watu wa mungu. The good news that you don't have to die in your sin but you can live unto Christ and live forever. Kwa mba tarifa njema hawasifa kwenye tambi zao Bali waneza kubadilika waka ukoka waka enda waka, 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 waka pata tuzo So the man of God uh, he, he, he designed that she was vexing her spirit Mtumisho mungu alijua uya na uchungu But God did not reveal it to him Mungu wa kumfunu I'm going to give you one more example and then we're going to go to part two Ata kupa mfano mungine after And the tenth chapter acts where Peter had a vision where he was hungry, went to the roof and uh, he had, he uh, here it is this big sheet came down with all kind of animals and so forth. God said, Kill or eat. He said, Lord, I don't put nothing unclean in my mouth. Mtumishi Petro alipata ile ndoto, alafu ikaja kama pazia na wanyama wa kila aina ambao wengine ni najisi walipokuwa najua zamani. Akaambiwa ale akasema siwezi kula. Whatever I create, don't call unclean or un, or common. Akaambiwa kila nilichoumba usiseme ni najisi. He did not know. Hakuelewa that hallelujah that one was going to one from the house of Cornelius, Cornelius was was going to come and that was going to take he had a uh, this man he was righteous before God and prayed the, all the time and his prayers went up to heaven as a memorial mm-hmm. and he went to Peter and persuaded him to go with him the spirit, told, the spirit encouraged him to go with him as well in agreement why because he did not know why he was going with this land but the Holy Ghost directed him to and when he got there God put a word in his mouth the people began to speak in tongues and these were Gentiles and he turned to the Jews that were there and said can we forbid them war for they have the Holy Ghost just like we and he, why? Because he heard them speaking in tongues. And magnify God. And he commanded them to be, they be baptized in the name of Jesus. He did not know prior to going there as a why he was going there, but the Spirit directed him. This man that was encouraging him to come to his house to come with him, hallelujah, to speak to these people. He didn't have no idea, but the Holy Ghost said, Go. When somebody comes to you in distress, vexed in their spirit, even though they didn't ask. The love of Jesus is shed abroad in our heart. We want to see them delivered. We want to see them healed. We want, see, we want them to have joy and peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want them to we want them to let them know that God loves them. And the word God will give you a word for them, a, a word just for them. To calm the seas. Kwenda, na kupokea. To be able to speak peace to their heart. Kuweza, kuongea, mai, Hallelujah. Mwa. This concludes part one uh, of the lesson. Amina. Is it well 
Uchosoro. Tunamaliza sehemu hii ya kwanza tutaenda sehemu ya pili. Je, salama rohoni mwako. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus. 